girls, Paul Wisdom here, the youth minister at the University Church of Christ. Let's do some singing before worship this morning. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. And the wise man's house stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. And the foolish man's house went splat! So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. Oh, the blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. Good job. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Let's do it without the me's. Jesus loves this I know, for the Bible tells so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves, yes, Jesus loves, yes, Jesus loves, the Bible tells so. Good job, everybody. Let's, uh, let's all stand up. Let's sing the hippo song. In the beginning God made the seas and the forest filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high and at the top He placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere just to show how much He cares. And in the middle He had some fun. He made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made us. Creation sings of His praise. Swallows and the tiny babes. In the middle he had some fun. He made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made us. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made us. I thought I knew that second verse a little bit better than that. We'll try it again next week. Let's sing, um, let's see... Let's sing the chariot song. Roll the gospel chariot along. Roll the gospel chariot along. Roll the gospel chariot along. And we won't tag along behind. If a sinner's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. If a sinner's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. If a sinner's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. And we won't tag along behind. Roll the gospel chariot along roll the gospel chariot along roll the gospel chariot along and we won't tag along behind if a Christian's in the way we will stop and pick him up if a Christian's in the way we will stop and pick him up if a Christian's in the way we will stop and pick him up and we won't tag along behind roll the gospel chariot along roll the gospel chariot along roll the gospel chariot along and we won't tag along behind if the devil's in the way we will 
run right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. And we won't tag along behind. Roll the gospel chariot along. Roll the gospel chariot along. Roll the gospel chariot along. And we won't tag along behind. Good job, everybody. Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see. When my Lord is living in me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. Tall mountains, green valleys, Valleys, the beauty that surround me all make me aware of the one who made it all. I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. Let's sing a couple more before we uh, go see what Duke and Rachel are up to today. Jesus called them one by one, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Next came Philip, Thomas, too, Matthew, and Bartholomew. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them, and they all followed him. James, the one they call the less, Simon, also Thaddeus, the twelfth apostle. Judas made, Jesus was by him betrayed. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them, and they all followed him. Thank you to Tammy over there, sitting to the side, who helped me with that last verse. You'd think I would know these before I get up here. Um, yeah. Let's sing one more before we call out the puppets and, uh, and see what they're up to today. <clears throat> There's a sea of Galilee, there's a sea of Galilee, there's a sea, there's a sea, there's a sea of Galilee, and there's a boat in the sea of Galilee, there's a boat in the sea of Galilee, there's a boat, there's a boat, there's a boat in the sea of Galilee, and there's a man in the boat in the sea of Galilee, there's a man in the boat in the sea of Galilee, there's a man, there's a man. There's a man in the boat in the Sea of Galilee, and there are hands in the man in the boat in the Sea of Galilee. There are hands in the man in the boat in the Sea of Galilee. There are hands, there are hands, there are hands in the man in the boat in the Sea of Galilee. And there are nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the Sea of Galilee. There are nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the Sea of Galilee. There are nets, there are nets, there are nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the Sea of Galilee. And there are fish in the nets in the hands of the man in the boat in the Sea of Galilee. There are fish the nets, the hands of the man, the boat in the sea of Galilee. There are fish, there are fish, there are fish in the nets, the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. And there's a mouth in the fish in the nets, the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. There's a mouth in the fish in the nets, the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. There's a mouth, there's a mouth, there's a mouth in the fish in the nets, the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. And there's a coin in the mouth and Fish in the nets, the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. There's a coin in the mouth of the fish in the nets, the hands of the man in the boat, sea of Galilee. There's a fish, there's a coin. There's a coin in the mouth of the fish in the nets, the hands of the man in the boat in the sea of Galilee. I think that's the best that I have done that song in all the weeks that we've been doing this. So let's uh, let's take a little field trip back up to the uh, Kingdom Kids room and, and we will see uh, what the puppets are up to this morning. We'll call them out up there. We made it up here. All right, let's call out the puppets on the count of three. One, two, three. Puppets! Hi, it's Rachel. Today, we're going to talk about the next fruit of the Spirit. It's called goodness. Now, today is a little different because I need your help, boys and girls. I have some letters here from my friends, 
all over the world. And they want to know whether each of these things show the fruit of the Spirit goodness or not. So when I read each of these letters, Duke is going to tell me if they are good things or bad things to do. Oh boy! Okay, first letter. Bjorn Bolasupski from Ireland writes, The other day, I was ice fishing and my friend Helgi slipped on the ice and got his mittens all wet. I helped him up and ran back home to get another pair of mittens for him. Was this a good thing or a bad thing to do? What do you think, Duke? Sure sounds like a good thing to me. I wouldn't want to have cold hands. All right, next one. Nellie Know-It-All from London wrote this in an email to me the other day. <clears throat> Dear Rachel, my sister Beatrice caught a bit of a cold on the day we were supposed to go to my favorite restaurant for dinner. We had to stay home because she was sick. I screamed at my mom and dad and said, it's not fair. Then I ran up the stairs to my room and slammed the door. Do I show goodness to my family? Duke, how about it? Well, Rach, that was an awesome British accent, but no, I don't think she showed very much goodness. Okay, so far, so good. Here's one from Franz Zuper Duper of Orbendorf, Germany. He writes, Dear Rachel, I need your advice about my brother. He and I were in the candy store one day looking for yummy marzipan candy. And when nobody was looking, Hans, that's my brother's name, stuck some candy in his pocket. When we left the store, he laughed because he got away with it. I felt horrible. I don't think that was an example of goodness. Do you, Duke? As much as I love me some candy, stealing is not the way to get it. Definitely not goodness. We've got time for a couple more. This one is from Kim Sung in Tokyo, Japan. She writes, Rachel, yesterday some people were picking on this girl at school because they didn't like the clothes she was wearing. They had her so upset she was crying. I went over to her and told them to stop it. They stopped and walked away. I stayed with her and helped her stop crying. Then I walked to class with her. Do you think what I did demonstrated goodness? Oh, that definitely sounds like goodness, Rachel. Wow, I sure am learning a lot about what goodness is and what it's not. It sounds like goodness has to do with helping others and showing them love. Let's look at this last letter from Hector Deflector in El Paso, Texas. I like his name, Rachel. Pretty cool, huh, Duke? He says, Rachel, I got a problem as big as Texas. I was, going to, I was doing my math test the other day, and since I didn't know the answer to a couple of questions, I copied what the real smart girl next to me had. Nobody noticed, but I felt awful. What do I do? Hmm. Well, Duke, do you think what Hector did was good or bad? Rachel, I think that is definitely a bad thing to do. What is it called when we do something bad that God, do, God doesn't want us to do? Hmm, isn't that called sin? That's right. What can we do about sin? Well, I know whenever I sin, I ask forgiveness from God. So we know what to tell Hector. He needs to confess his sin to Jesus and ask to be forgiven. He also needs to keep his eyes on his own test from now on. Yeah, and I bet if he studies, he'll do great on the next test. That's the spirit, Duke. No, Rachel, that's the fruit of the spirit.